Okay, so here's the liver. Right, it's the largest, very large organ. Um, underneath it, you'll see this kind of soft structure. It's called the gallbladder. It stores extra bile, kind of look like a little liquidy. Here's the stomach. Here is a lot of small intestine, and between the small intestine is what we call mesentery. It's what connects the, kind of supports the small intestine, plus has a lot of blood vessels, if you see there. Lots of blood vessels, capillaries, to, in order to digest all that food and absorb all those nutrients. So all this is a small intestine. It's very long. When you get to a thicker tract, this is a large intestine. And this is where water is absorbed and your feces are starting to get created. If you move the small intestine carefully, you'll see down here, this right here is the rectum. And right, it'll be connected right to the large intestine. This is where feces would come out towards the anus, which is down here. There you go. So if you were to travel the pathway of food, first we'd go down the mouth, down the throat, or down the throat. The esophagus is what connects your uh, mouth to your stomach. If you notice this big structure here, this is the trachea, the windpipe, and right next to it, parallel to it, is your esophagus. And if you were to follow your esophagus, and if the heart wasn't there, you'd see it, it would connect all the way behind your heart, down to your liver, right to your stomach. And if you were to follow that, you'd follow the small intestine, to the large intestine, to the rectum, to the anus, and that's where food goes. So pull out a piece, pull out a piece of small intestine, and you see that mesentery? Cut. Just very gently, don't cut yourself. Cut very gently, and you should see that it will start to unwind. You need to be very careful, because you don't want to break it. But you should be able to, after cutting, unravel the small intestine. You need to cut that mesentery, though, all those blood vessels that's connecting the small intestine to the blood or circulatory system. There you go. Kidneys, this helps filter blood. If you see, there's these tubes that connect the kidneys, right? They're called ureters. 